Hey guys, it's Elaine Blake with Refine Horizons, and in this video, uh, I'm going to teach you a couple simple things in, in QGIS, relatively simple things. So I've got QGIS 3.28 up. This is a project that we've been working on. Uh, it's a big project, so we've got about 50 miles or more, maybe 60 miles of mapping that we're, that we're working on uh, in Central California. And so one of the things that we're going to do um, is we're going to, uh, we have we have a project GIS set up to help us kind of track our progress. And so I have part of that up here in QGIS. So the two, two layers I have visible are, are what we call the project corridor segments. So those are the routes that we're mapping. Uh, so we're doing uh, boundary and topography surveys and utility mappings along these corridors. And then uh, I have uh, basically just trimmed out the county parcel layer. Uh, so this is what we're calling area one and, and this is area two of this particular project um, And I've got this set up in QGIS so that as you, as you zoom in you, you pick up the uh, The parcel labels and then we've also got uh, the USDA NAEP uh, photography for now just as a, as a background layer uh, But what I want to show you today is uh, how You can do a uh, a couple things. So I'm going to show you how you can make some edits to uh, an attribute, view an attribute table for a layer in QGIS and then make edits to that table. And then uh, I'm going to teach you how to uh, set up uh, kind of what I call a status attribute or status field uh, for, for a set of features in QGIS and then uh, color code the features using the symbology in QGIS based on that status field. Okay, and we're going to do that on this parcel layer. So let me just show you real quick. Um, if I make this layer active and then I come over here, I can uh, pop up the attribute table right here, open attribute table. Okay, and that will uh, show me basically the tabular data that has been associated with this parcel layer. Okay. Um, so this is just coming right out of the county GIS, okay, but the important thing here is it's got the APN, that's primarily what we're interested in, okay, and you can see, you know, it's not a perfectly clean data set, there's some parcels that don't have APNs, probably road parcels. Uh, the other way you can get to that, if you just right click on the layer name in the, in the layer panel, uh, you can go to open attribute table, okay, but you can't edit in this. Uh, you can't edit in this because we don't have the layer toggled for editing yet. Uh, but you can select features based on the record. So if you click the row number and then zoom out, it'll it'll select that uh, particular parcel. Okay. So what, what we want to do is uh, we want to go ahead and make this editable. So I'm going to come down here and hit toggle editing. I'm just going to clear my selection. So grab the select tool here and just click on the white space to clear that. Okay, so now I can I can edit uh, the features in this layer. I can edit the, the layer structure. Okay, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and open that attribute table back up. Okay, now just so you see, if I highlight a different layer in the layer panel, I'm going to get a different attribute table. So we want the parcel attribute table for the parcel layer. So I'll, I'll highlight that in the layer panel and I'll open the attribute table. Okay, and then what we want to do here is we're going to add a field. Okay, and so right here, if your layer is editable, you can add a new field or delete a field if you want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new field. And I'm going to call it RH survey status. Okay, and uh, I'm going to make that a text value. And I'm going to give it a length of uh, 100 characters, should be plenty for what we're doing. Okay, and you can see when I do that, it's added that column here. Okay, so that column has been added here. <clears throat> okay, now, what I want to do is uh, I want to enter the categories, the status categories. Or statuses, I guess you could say, for each of the parcels. So we're going to have uh, one, two, three, six, I think. I'm going to try this, see how this works. So uh, we're going to have not adjacent to the project corridor. Okay. 
adjacent defined by deed and not mapped, adjacent defined by filed survey map and not mapped, adjacent by deed mapped, adjacent by filed survey map mapped, and adjacent not mappable. So I'm really tracking two things here. One is, is, is the parcel boundary defined by deed or is there a filed survey map? Because that's going to make a difference to us for some, for some technical survey reasons that I won't get into in the video. And then I want to just know, have we mapped it or not? And then finally, we may have some parcels that are just aren't mappable because we can't get a deed or the deed's super dorked up. So we'll track that as well. Now to start, what I want to do is I just want to mark all of the parcels as uh, not adjacent. Okay, and then we'll go in and we'll, we'll mark the other parcels that are adjacent. All right, so I've got the attribute table open now for the parcel layer uh, just as a reminder you can just right click on your layer in the layer panel and say open attribute table <clears throat> and what we're going to do now is we're going to add a field so we're going to say new field and we're going to call rh survey status and i'm going to make it a text field and i'm going to make it 100 characters that should be plenty Okay, so we'll, we'll hit OK, and uh, you can see it's added here, but there's no values. Now you can uh, cut and paste a value in if you want, but we're going to use this little expression bar up at the top of the attribute table. So uh, we're going to choose our attribute here from this drop-down list, and then um, we're going to do single quotes, not adjacent. And we're going to say update all, and that's going to take a minute because there's a bunch of them. Okay, so those have been added now. You can see automatically. Okay, so uh, that's cool. So I'm going to go ahead and close that table now. And for now, I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to save my layer edits and turn off the editing on that and then we're going to come in here and we're going to change the the symbology so we're going to open the layer properties go to symbology here okay right now we've got a, a simple fill set okay but we want to do a, a categorized we want to do categorized and for now I'm going to just use random colors and then what we're going to do on the value here is we're going to pick that new attribute and we're going to hit apply okay and my parcels disappeared okay which is not that's not what oh I got to pick a color ramp <laughs> let's do uh, I like Mako let's do that so we've got our color ramp here and then let's see we're going to add some values all right and then you click on value let's say not adjacent okay and then let's pull that text file up so we can remember what we had in here so and i'm going to just paste these because we want to make sure that they're exactly the same Okay, so I'm just pasting in the values kind of from like our valid our valid value table. So what it's going to do is, is it's going to match up the color to the value. I hope. Okay, so it did that. All right, so all these now are coded um, as uh, not adjacent. Okay, and they've been assigned that color. Now you'll notice um, it's giving you the count. Right, so it's telling us I've got about 4,700 parcels that are that are not adjacent. Now, we do have some parcels that are adjacent. So I'm going to show you what happens when when we uh, mark those parcels as adjacent. So this time we're going to say adjacent, uh, and for now we're going to just say by deed not mapped. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and select the features that I want to mark. So let's just do this set here. Okay, and we're going to um, make this layer editable again, and we are going to open the attribute table, and 
we want to just view the selected features. Okay, so move selection to the top. Okay, so here's all the parcels that were selected. Okay, and I know now that these are indeed adjacent. So we're going to put in the status of adjacent by deed, not mapped. Okay, and then we're going to say, um, we're going to close, let's see, can I save the edits in here? Yep, right here, save the edits. Okay, and then we're going to uh, just zoom out and clear that selection. Okay, now for some reason that did not work. So let's go in and look at our symbology again. Adjacent by deed, not mapped. Alright, I think that is... So I'm not sure why that's not keying in. Okay, let's see if that worked. Alright, so it's not keying in. So let's look at these. Let's look at these again. Move the selection to the top. Okay, so for some reason it, it didn't take my edit there. I don't know what happened. So let's try it. Oh, it's still not. Oh, you know what? I think I broke something else. Hang on one sec. All right, sorry about those that guys. I had set a um, I had set a, a default value that was doing an override there. So now you can see those have the right attribute set. So we're going to save those layer edits. Okay, and close this. And then uh, now you can see I've got three parcels showing up in that next category. So when I click out, they've changed color. Okay. So that will allow us to quickly kind of evaluate the status of our, our uh, boundary mapping of these parcels along the corridor. Okay, we can clean this up a little more. So if we go into properties and go to symbology, uh, we can add a legend here. Okay. So, uh, and I'm just going to put in these same values. And then they'll show up in the um, whoop. They'll show up in the uh, legend. Okay, so now we're getting them in the legend, which is uh, helpful. Okay, and um, just to show you, so let's just say this parcel here is on a map, just to show you one more time. So we're going to pop open the attribute table, move that selected parcel to the top, and then we're going to set this status to be. So it's adjacent, defined by a filed survey map, but hasn't been mapped by us. So we'll say, save that edit. And uh, you can see now that also gets a different color. Okay, now, <clears throat> what I, uh, I'm going to make one other quick change here, because I like to have these transparent, just so the orthophotography shows up. So you can come in here, and we can set this opacity. I'm going to set it to 50% on all these, um, and then we'll be, we'll be able to, to turn on the uh, orthophotography there and see that behind. So it's kind of a cool effect. Um, it's really awesome that this little open source program does this. It's a super powerful tool. So it's a good example of, of uh, what volunteer communities can accomplish when they're determined to do that. All right. So now we've got some transparency set. Uh, so when I turn on the ortho photography, that's still shown up uh, underneath, which is super cool. And so now we can go in and basically map the status of our parcels. So I'm going to go ahead and save that change. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll do some more QGIS videos.